Hi friends welcome to the world of gazette today we are going to study together about the concept of partial differential equation what do we basically need to form a partial differential equation for that we first need to know some notations of partial differential equation what are the notations of partial differential equation there are five notations like p q r s and t okay can you explain in detail in detail the partial derivative should be mentioned partial derivative yes for that we first need to check the function of two independent variables x and y what is a function of two independent variable x and y a simple z which has a definite value for every pair of values of x and y is called a function of two independent variables x and y and we write z equal to f of x y or phi of x y so what is a partial derivative of z with respect to x we know that z is a function of x and y if we set y is constant and vary only x then z will be the only function of x that is the derivative of z with respect to x treating y as constant is called the partial derivative of z with respect to x and is denoted by one of the symbols dou z by dou x or dou f by dou x or fx of x comma y or dxf this partial derivative of z with respect to x can be defined by using limits that is dou z by dou x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 f of x plus delta x comma y minus f of x comma y divided by delta x so what is a partial derivative of z with respect to y as mentioned earlier the derivative of z with respect to y keeping x as constant is called partial derivative of z with respect to y we can denote it as dou z by dou y or dou f by dou y or f y of x comma y or dy f this partial derivative of z with respect to y can be defined by using limits that is dou z by dou y is equal to limit delta y tends to 0 f of x comma y plus delta y minus f of x comma y divided by delta y so far we have been discussing about z as a function of the variables x and y but what if z as a function of three or more variables as mentioned earlier if z is a function of three or more variables like x1 x2 x3 etc then the partial derivative of z with respect to x1 is obtained by differentiating z with respect to x1 keeping all other variables constant we will write this as dou z by dou x1 in general generally speaking if fx and fy are the functions of x and y respectively then we can differentiate fx and fy again with x and y that is dou by dou x of dou z by dou x is equal to dou square z by dou x square or dou square f by dou x square or it can be written as fxx and dou by dou x of dou z by dou y is equal to dou square z by dou x dou y or dou square f by dou x dou y or it can be also written as f y x the thing to note here is the order of the subscripts in the subscript notation we need to take the opposite order of delta notation on the denominator as well as dou by dou y of dou z by dou x is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x or dou square f by dou y dou x or it can be also written as f x y and so on dou by dou y of dou z by dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y square or dou square f by dou y square or f y y in some ordinary cases mixed partial derivatives are equal that is dou square z by dou x dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x 
Sometimes we give notations like P for dou z by dou x, Q for dou z by dou y, R for dou square z by dou x square, S for dou square z by dou x dou y and T for dou square z by dou y square. These notations are what we use in partial differential equation. Can you give an example to show that mixed partial derivatives are same? Okay, so this is our question. Find the first and second partial derivatives of z is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3axy. In order to solve this, we must first consider the equation of z. Then we need to find the first derivative of z with respect to x and with respect to y. That is dou z by dou x is equal to 3x square plus 0 minus 3ay into 1 that is equal to 3x square minus 3ay and dou z by dou y is equal to 0 plus 3y square minus 3ax into 1 that is equal to 3y square minus 3ax. Then we need to find the second derivative of z. The first one is dou square z by dou x square which is equal to dou by dou x of dou z by dou x. By applying the value of dou z by dou x we get it as 6x. Next one is dou square z by dou x dou y which is equal to dou by dou x of dou z by dou y. By substituting the value of dou z by dou y we will get it as minus 3a. The third one is dou square z by dou y square which is equal to dou by dou y of dou z by dou y which is equal to dou by dou y of 3y square minus 3ax which is equal to 6y. And dou square z by dou y dou x is equal to dou by dou y of dou z by dou x by substituting the value of dou z by dou x we will get it as minus 3a. From here we observe that dou square z by dou y dou x is equal to dou square z by dou x dou y that is mixed partial derivatives are equal. We will discuss more examples in another session. For PDF of this session and more study materials, you can join us on Telegram. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Have, Have a nice day. day.